So right now, what we're facing is this digital transformation. A lot of this data processing is away from the cloud, yep. closer to the edge. Yes. And in that user edge, you need to be processing the data as close to the IoT sensor. And what we do best is in the core design of our industrial grade PCs. So why it's built rugged and built ready? Our job at this industry is to work with the leading semiconductors, right? Take that reference design and really push forward a product that is durable, reliable for these mission critical type of environment. IPX, we are here at Embedded World North America, where we're wandering around the booth so you don't have to, because that's our job. So we come and find interesting companies potentially you might use in your next design or the next thing you're doing. So today, just now, we Hello. met. Hello, my name is Dustin C2. I am the Director of Product Marketing for Premio Inc. How's it going? Very well. Thank you, Dustin. You're welcome. Premio, built rugged, built ready. What does that mean? It means a lot, but that's our slogan. And what we do with Built Rugged, Built Ready is defined in our culture. It's defined in our products but really it's how we design our specific computers for ruggedization. Right. Uh, so right now what we're facing is this digital transformation. A lot of this data processing is away from the cloud, yep. closer to the edge. Yes. And in that user edge, you need to be processing the data as close to the IoT sensors. Yes. So the last decade, uh, Internet of Things have become so prevalent, right? So in that prevalence, you have all this smart data that's pinging. I've got this. I've got these facts that I keep in my pocket, and now I'm not going to be able to find because I left them on the last booth. But it's something like 80 zettabytes of data Correct. Is, is being picked up, sent to 25 billion um, devices, yeah. who are all communicating back to the channel. Well, so you're right with the facts that you left in your pocket. So I have the facts up here. Um, so Both. 75. A uh, billion IoT devices are coming on a line. They are. 2025, so we're almost there. So tell us how Premio fit into that. Yeah, so we've been in business for 35 plus years. Uh, we're based in Los Angeles, California. And what we do best is in the core design of our industrial grade PCs. So why it's built rugged and built ready? Our job at this industry is to work with the leading semiconductors, right? Take that reference design and really push forward a product that is durable, reliable for these mission critical type right. of environments. So so these boxes that we're looking at, correct, which we can't see because they're over there, but we'll take some screenshots so you can see them when we when we do the whole video. Tell me where they would sit today. If, if I'm a design engineer, correct. you've just described the situation where you're taking computing to the edge. Correct. That's the, what you just, so this is a computer on the edge. Bit nervous, silly English joke. Um, <laughs> Uh, and so where would they go? Yeah, so just a shameless plug, we actually did a webinar where we defined where a lot of our products are going into. So within the edge continuum, uh, our products are fit specifically. Sounds like a, that sounds like a sci-fi movie. Kind of. The edge continuum. And it continues. And it will continue. Right. Um, but specifically, where our products are placed are at the user edge. Yep. And what we've done differently than a lot of our competitors. So typically describe where that is. Yeah, so. you're talking your language now speak community language where do these boxes sit specifically at the user edge but which is where so let it, me define the industry user edge. yeah yeah so within the user edge uh, we've defined three key buckets excellent that we're doing different than among all the other competitors so excellent. a lot of the other competitors just say edge compute what we've done and we've taken one step deeper is to define that user edge and there's three key buckets that we've defined in the user edge. One is the industrial edge. Yes. The industrial edge is sometimes can be in a controlled environment. You might not need it as a wide operating temperature. It's still accessible. Ubiquitous IoT connectivity. You need to have that connectivity still. And you have decent amount of processing to interact with that data. Yes. Yeah. Let's now move to the second bucket that we've defined. Just, just coming back to industrial bucket. Correct. Is a lot of that getting the data out of the system or for predictive maintenance? around the system so there's three key things that are happening at the user edge it's the data processing the acquisition and the telemetry to run some type of um, machine learning intelligence of inference detection so what inference detection is is after the neural network has been trained in the cloud you're moving that specific machine learning workload into a box that can do the processing for real-time processing and inference to well, make the real-time decisions to have uh, better business insights, better productivity, efficiency for that right. nature. Okay, so what you're saying is, it doesn't matter what you're asking, cloud's working it out, doing the machine learning, data's going up, and then it 
needs the processing power at the edge correct to get the data that the machine has told it to get because it's learned so the, i would say the best way to put it is a, a symbiotic relationship between uh the cloud and the edge reason being you have software and hardware working together to actually process the data yep. you need both of those strong architectures in order to deliver the data that's yep. valuable for the autonomy yeah okay right. so what's in that box so it ranges. Um, so specifically, the most important part of the box is the compute architecture. Yep. So compute can range from a lot of different form factors, but we as premium are partners with the leading semiconductors of the world. So you have your x86 type of architecture, yep. which is based off of complex instruction set computing. So what's right? in the box? You have a CPU, you yep. have memory, you have storage. Are you going to tell storage. me the manufacturer that's in the box? Say that again. You're going to tell me the manufacturer that's in the box. Yeah, that's Intel. It is Intel. It's an x86 Intel. It's, oh, it's an Intel chip. Yeah, okay, so it's good. Intel chip. Um, yep. But what we do differently and what Intel does differently is they have an embedded chip, right? Yep. For where at an embedded show. So what they do is they control the overall power. Yep. So that allows us as a system builder to actually look at the overall thermals and reliability of that. Because when you increase processing power, you have to, for our world, you need to make sure you control uh, the thermal regulation. And that's why if you look at that box, it's a fanless design. It's a rugged design. And what yep. that does is that it can be pushed into extreme environments. Yep. Wide operating temperature from negative 40 to 70. Yeah. Shock and vibration. You from can both anywhere, basically. Yeah. So that's yep. that's where we sit again at the edge is that we're closer to where the rugged IoT data sensors are. Yep. And that is the telemetry that gets pushed into a box that's able to do some of the pre-processing away from the cloud, but still closer to where data is generated. Yeah. Okay. Right. So you reduce that latency. Right. And the bandwidth is not Second as Second bucket. Second bucket. What's the second bucket? Oh, so the second bucket, what, what we've defined is called the rugged edge. And why that's the rugged edge is because now the environment is not as controlled. It no. potentially can be more remote. It can be more mobile, right? And in that environment, you need to be able to control the design, the ruggedization, right? So that's why we actually design our products that everything is UL certified, yep. right? For safety, reliability, for that type of so feature. We, we talk about this kind of thing every day. Um, when you talk about remote, uh, afraid it, would that maybe be taking in data in agriculture or taking in data? What, what, where would be, what, what, when, when these things are out in the field, yeah. what, where, where do you typically see them go? So agriculture could be one, but I would say a lot of uh, intelligent public transportation. It's in a, oh, okay. It can yep. be in a moving environment. Yes. It's not as accessible. Yep. Right? It's remote. Yep. Things that data are, acquisition. Things, correct. Assets and fleets moving around, as correct. they call so it. Like, so AGV, AMRs, and robotics. Yeah. Right. So a lot of these smaller form factor robotics are moving around and they're having autonomy. Yeah. They need to have the ability. Yeah. So industrial automation. Industrial automation is a big one. Yeah. Um, I would say actually the, the most important part of the rugged edge is the connectivity side. And when I talk about connectivity, there's lots about uh, in-band and out-of-band. When you're in a remote, rugged environment, your, your network can actually come offline. Yeah. So when you're offline, you have to move into an element where it's out of band. Yeah. And when it's out of band connectivity, when you do lose some type of connection, how do you access to go into that box and how do you actually go in there and do remote management? That's, how do you do that? You do a lot of different ways. Um, you, you can do it on the hardware side. We go through an RJ, a separate RJ45 Ethernet port. And right. that goes through an um, online dashboard. And we work with a partner. Uh, that partner is Oxen. Um, what they do is they allow the management of all different devices out of band. Yeah. Right. So that's that's an important part of the Absolutely. rugged edge. Yeah. So so you give security in a different sense, but security is service. Correct. Yeah. Third bucket. Third bucket is what we've defined as the specialized edge. <laughs> and why it's specialized is that in a lot of these uh, applications, we've actually learned there's specific uh, certifications to even have a product to be deployed. So one key example that I can give you, oil and gas. Yeah. Oil and glass is, uh, oil and gas is very important because it has explosion proof type of products or hardware. So in order to deploy, you need to make sure uh, there's no- Extreme. Extreme, 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 extreme environments. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You could have used another word for special, yeah. but extreme. Yeah, specialized. I mean, I might change it to uh, Extreme Edge. That's an even better way. Extreme so thanks, Edge. Thanks for your yeah. advice. Well, you do sound like a series of movies as you go through your product range. So, okay. Uh, I mean, in summary, yeah. Uh, you know, we talk about devices on the edge. Most of them are tiny. Most of them are small. You talked about machine learning from the cloud. Symbiotic relationship was how you described it. Correct. Symbiotic relationship between the learning 
then bringing your data into your industrial embedded onboard embedded computer computer sitting yes. in its box taking in zettabytes of data wherever that is whatever that even means i don't even know what that means it's a silly number um excellent don't know what else we have to say apart from if you want to go and evaluate one of those is it easy to get your hands on one of those how much do they cost um, so everything is available on our website. We do share the MSRP pricing. We have a full configurator that you can go on and configure the product based on whatever your application and spec. Um, I'd say what we do differently is uh, we're based in the United States. We do stock our inventory. Our entire product portfolio is uh, standardized. It's off the shelf. What that means is that you can literally go on, buy it, and come and test it and run your application on that product specifically. Everything is industrial grade, uh, mil spec as well and UL certified. So um, yeah, please contact us. Uh, our sales team is readily available. Our product marketing team, we have a ton of thought leadership on our website. So yeah, thank or you so much. Or go to ipexchange.tech, which is of course where you will actually go to go Correct. find out about these things and then we'll connect you. And then you can see which one of these three series of products, uh, which sounds like movies, first yeah. one was. Uh, the product wise? Yeah. Yeah, we have the RCO 3000 RPL. No, 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 how you phrase them. We, we had sequences, didn't we? Oh, so in terms of where they fit? Yeah, it sounded like movies, didn't they? The... Oh, the edge continuum. And yes. within the edge continuum, we have the industrial edge, the rugged <laughs> edge, then the specialized edge. Yeah, those three uh, movies. Correct. That are made from Premio. So we're built rugged, built ready. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. the conversation. Very and, good. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.